Hey guys, welcome back to my Chanel What Not. It's your girl Irene. So today I'm going to be giving you this pride makeup look. Now this look is dramatic AF. I've never been to pride. This is what I would want to wear if I was going to pride. Um, no cap. This is what I want to wear. You know, I'm exotic. You know, I like to do the most. I like to go all out. So this is an inspiration just in case you guys would like to wear this look to pride or whatnot. I hope you guys enjoy this look. Um, I just want to let you guys know that love wins. I'm not gay or bisexual, but it's nobody's business what you are. It's up to yourself to um, choose your way of life. And I feel like nobody should interfere with it. Love wins. It really wins. So I hope you guys like this look. This look took a while, but it's not as hard as it looks. And we're going to get into this look. Like, comment, subscribe if you guys do not know me. You better. I'm just like. If you guys do not know me, my name is Irene, and I will leave my Instagram and my Twitter down below and my Snapchat because I want some more people on Snapchat, alright? So, yes, let's get into this look. Bye, guys. Oh, hold up, ho. Hey, look at that. I don't know if you guys could see it, but uh, I even have a heart nose ring. Love wins, ho. <laughs> alright, bye, guys. Alright, y'all. Oh, whoa. Yes. Mm. Whoa. Yes. Mm. Introducing bad bitch I read Alright so let's get it started So I'm going to be taking that yellow shade And I'm just going to be packing it on Mind you I'm using the Morphe 35B palette They discontinued the palette But you can really use any yellow that is bright Now I'm going to be taking this orange shade And I'm just going to flip my brush Too lazy to pick up another brush and I'm going to be packing that orange shade on my lid and trying to kind of mix it in with the yellow shade so it can go into one another. Now I'm going to be taking that pink shade in the palette and I am going to be packing it on. This pink was very pretty and it really brought the look out the most. I really enjoy playing with it. Now we're going to be taking that purple shade and we're gonna put it right next to the pink. I just feel like pink goes beautifully with purple. Also guys, don't worry about it being messy. The black liner is kinda of gonna take up for it. So I'm using those two bottom, I'm using those two dark shades to darken up the crease towards the end. I'm going to go into that palette and I'm going to take that blue lagoon shade. Guys, that shade is so pretty. And I'm just putting the blue at the edge, and then I'm going to kind of make a V shape. I'm trying to map out my cut crease with the blue. And don't worry, like I said, if it's messy, because that black eyeliner is going to map out the whole eye. So yeah. Um, the only other palette that I'm using is the Prism palette that's different. After I'm done with everything, I'm just going back in and I'm just brightening up the shades. You know, sometimes when you pack these shades next to one another, they do get lost. I'm also going in and packing on the shades with the other eyes, just making sure that each eye has the same amount. All right, y'all. So please, when you do this look with the liner, get a matte liquid liner. It looks so pretty when it's matte. It doesn't look... Well, I don't know how it looks if it's not matte, but this just looked really pretty when it was matte. So I'm just tracing out the lines, and I'm creating my cut crease. I'm not going to be doing the drip on the other eye because I am not good on my left eye, and I am not going to come and embarrass myself for this YouTube channel. So really, I can't really describe what I did here, but my best advice would just be to let your pen flow. So I just really let the liner take control and I just made these weird little shapes with it and you guys will see as you continue to watch I really didn't have no sense of direction with what I was with what I was doing with these um, shades I just let it flow okay. 
Now, after I got the tracing, the cut crease, I then went in and started making a whole bunch of dots and circular dots. And I made some big ones, small ones. I can't really describe what I did. I just made sure I followed the cut crease, really. And it came out really pretty. I actually really liked, liked it. Um, I was really scared that it wasn't going to come out right. But it actually came out really nice. And I'm just trying to create the same amount of dots on one eye to the other. Now you just see me tracing, retracing the um, drip. And I am going to be making more drip on the edge. And I am going to be taking my white liner and adding some white liner inside of the drip. And look, look what happened to my hair, guys. So yeah, I just took a smaller brush and just went and precisely put the green back in the corner. I felt like the green was fading away. So yeah. Then I took some concealer and I actually traced the outside of some of the drip. Just making it look more defined. That's it, really. Alright, hoes, it's time for face. So I'm going to be using this Cover FX foundation. I'm not sure what my shade is, um, but I'll leave it down below. But I do like to smooth out my foundation with this brush before I do buff it out. So I just smooth it all over my face. And I am going to be taking my Morphe brush to buff out the foundation. Not sure what it's called. I forgot. But really, when you do this right here, you just want to be careful to make sure that you do not get foundation on the drip. Really, it's better to do the drip that comes on your face after you do your makeup. And I kind of, you know, found that out after I did it. But, you know, just be careful. And now it's time for some Casilla Ho. <laughs> So I typically like to use the brush to buff out my contour first and then I kind of get my concealer. I like to let my concealer sit there for a while. Okay, let me let y'all in on a secret. These lashes are not the same. So if you guys don't tell nobody, I won't tell nobody. Okay? Okay. Okay, guys, we're having an intermission money, here. Money, here. To clean up on our four. Oh, clean up on our four. Hmm. Huh. So I'm going to be taking my Pure Beauty Blender and just blending in my powder. I think that's the Fenty powder. I'm not sure what the shade is, but it's probably like the second to last shade. Not too sure. And I'm just going to let those areas bake. And those are typically the areas that kind of sweat the most so if I was going to the parade I would definitely need that to not sweat. Now I'm going to be taking my Fenty bronzer and I'm going to be bronzing up my face honey. Now we are going to be outside honey. Well I'm not going to the parade but we're going to be outside honey. Okay so I'm just going to take the orange shade that I used and I'm going to be buffing it out then I'm going to be putting pink on top. Now I'm going to be taking this white eyeliner and I just wanted to use a white eyeliner to kind of make my eyes look a little bigger to give it that baby doll look since this look was very cartoonish and very childlike. So 
So I'm going to be using my Supercharged Mascara from Pierre. And it does have a light on it for you guys trying to figure out what that lighting is. And I really love this mascara. This is my new favorite mascara, guys. And I am going to be also putting mascara on my lashes. I don't know. It just made my eyes look more brown and pop more. It's time for lips, guys. It's time for lips. Now, since my eye is very bold, my lips are going to be very monotone. I'm doing the same lip that I do in every video. I know, boring. So I'm going to be lining my lips with the NYX Club Hopper Lip Liner. Dancing. I don't know what I'm dancing to because <laughs> but there was no music playing. I'm going to be taking the Anastasia Lip Liner in the color Grim. And I am going to be putting just a little bit and then blending the rest out with my lips. I mean with my hands sorry guys and then I'm going to be taking some lip gloss <sighs> sitting in eight period thought I was in trouble <laughs> bitch my lip gloss is popping now this step is optional I am going to be taking my NYX butter gloss and I'm just going to put it there to make it a little bit more pink I just love it I love it it tops it off I did spray my face with the Mario Badescu spray whoa yeah yeah, hit that one. Whoa, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to be taking this highlighter from Artist Couture. This is one of my favorite highlighters. And I'm not going to be putting that much highlight on because, you know, that's not really the star of the show. My eye look is. And yes, guys, that's it for this look. I hope you guys enjoy this look. I have fun doing this look. This is one of my favorite looks. Come back if you're new. Hi, my name is Irene, but you can call me bad bitch, Irene. So, bye guys.